Good morning creators, this is Taifa again and I want to do a tutorial on how to just make a simple SVG by using a photo. So uh, without using downloadable software, this is an online generator and I know this tutorial will help a lot of people who aren't too, you know, good with Inkscape or they are not too good with Photoshop and they just want to make a, a quick easy SVG from a picture. So I'm going to place the website link in the description for this particular website. So what you want to do next is you want to upload your picture. And the best pictures that you can put on here is if you have a child or a family member or a customer that you want to do it for, try to shoot for a picture that doesn't have um, too much going on, too much noise in the background. Because that's going to convert really easily. I'm going to convert two pictures and I'm going to show you the difference. 22. Okay, so after you uploaded your picture, this is what's going to show up. And you have details, you can make them great or strong. I usually just choose great. And invert 2 looks really good, but you have different inverts. See? I mean, you see how cleaned up that is? And that's even without us having to clean it up. So invert 1 in the background, you see, is a plain wall background. So that reduced the noise. Um, that's invert two, a little noise in the shirt and in the face. And let's see, invert three is also good. This one will make my life a little bit too easier. And this is invert four if you want the heavier cut lines or whatnot. I actually like that one, to tell you the truth. And then once you click on it, because you want to see a bigger image of it, you can slide like this, see a bigger image. But for what I want to do, this wouldn't work. If I use this, I will probably use this for like on a, a transfer vinyl or print printable um HTV in order to iron on a shirt. So let me exit out of that and go through the other ones. Then you got ready one. Got it like this. Ready two. It doesn't look too much like too much of a difference between the three, actually. So I forgot which invert we did. Did we do one or two? Nope, it was one. Okay. So you can also, if you like how it looks like this, you can download an image. But it's going to include these lines on the side. And you're not going to be able to clean up that SVG in design space. So what I would do is I would hit that plus button again. And make it as big as I can. Because I'm going to screenshot it. Screenshot and screenshot, excuse my puppy. <laughs> screenshot that. So I have a copy of that one, and as I blow it up, I say I see some of the details was lost. Let me see if I can try another one. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, this one has a little bit more detail that I want to retain. So I'm going to upload both of them. Uh-oh. There we go. And this way, a screenshot is going to be saved as a picture. And then you can clean it up in design space. And those are the other ones that I did earlier for practice. Where my screenshots? Can't find my screenshots, but it was saved. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I want to upload this one first. The second one. 
Let's look simple. Erase all the white. And usually all of the white will go for the first click because of the spaces that's in the design. But then you want to be mindful of the little things. So I want to, you take the eraser. And the whole purpose, what they call cleanup when it comes to this stuff, is you want to reduce as much noise as you can. Like, I would probably take out all of these little things in the um, shirt. Because those are all, everything, that's everything that the Cricut machine is going to cut. So, double check, make sure I get all the white from all the areas that I want. So we're going to just click that. Okay, it looks like I got majority of the areas that I want as far as the white. Now I'm going to take my eraser and clean up some of this noise here. And this is where it gets into your own personal preference. What you want to keep and what you want to take out. Okay, and then I'm seeing here in the nose area. And the mouth and the eyes. I think I'm going to leave that in the hair right there. and reduce some of this noise in the neck area and come down and start with the shirt because I want majority of that out I'm going to leave it in the arms give it a little character Once I finish cleaning this up and show you how it looks in design space, we're going to also do another picture that has um, a lot going on in the background. And I'm going to show you the difference. Not saying that it can be done, but it's probably going to have a little bit more work to it than this one had. I was very lucky that this one turned out the way it had looked. And like I said, it had a lot to do with that. It had a lot to do with my picture choice because with this picture, I just have one solid color background. Oh, back up. Okay. Leave some of the noise in the arm. Not all of it. I think I'm going to actually take that out this arm and leave it in the other. There we go. Excuse my puppy. He is just really, really anxious this morning okay just a little piece in the neck area okay should I do that over my eye we got to see that made a difference oh yeah there we go okay so I zoom out double check see a little space right there you definitely want to take your time and make sure that you got all the spaces that you want because you want to get out because once you save it and you miss a spot then you have to do all of this all over again as with just about anything else that you clean up in design space there we go okay I think that's it let's click continue and see I may want to reduce some more noise around the pink, especially here. Let me go back. Take it, the eraser. Clean that up. Now, I actually like how some of these little 
noise pieces. Look. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Yeah, the end. I hate being a perfectionist. <laughs> but, like I said, you see just from this video, take your time and clean up and don't be in a hurry like I am now. Let's see. Yeah, I like that better. Even a little in the K. That's going to aggravate me. <laughs> and a little in the P. Okay, so I have a let it go. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to save this as Tyva Sample Pit. And then I'm going to upload it. Insert, I'm sorry, insert images. And there you have it. And then once you get it in here, you can really see if you left any scraggly pieces to the side. And so that is my traceable image. This image can be cut to put on a glass, a sign. Um, I have, um, I don't have any plans for this particular picture, I said I think it would probably make a nice um, tea or whatnot, or maybe even placed into a um, a picture frame, you know, with some words off to the side. I mean, the creative ideas is like endless in what you choose to do with this. So here it is. I have this. I can cut it. I can print it to put it on HDB or transfer paper and put it on a T-shirt. I can, um, if you've seen those deca blocks, you can put this on a deca blocks. This is how they do it. If you want to put it on uh, a charger plate, you can put it on the charger. I mean, like I said, the creative, <laughs> the creative ideas are endless. So I hope that this tutorial was very easy and simple for you to understand. I hope that you guys can pick it up and take it and run with it. And this tutorial is especially for people who haven't ventured out to learn Inkscape or Photoshop yet. So I hope that you enjoy this video and you guys have a great day creating new items.